Chin up. Took a picture of you with the thing. It doesn't work. Okay, I need to stop and then. Oop. I'm trying to get this thing off. Come on. Hello, this is Nevada's Green Chicken. The big news today is it's opening day for the Cannes Film Festival. Or actually, since we're, well, let's just say half a day behind Europe, okay, it's already started. But it's, you know, if it was the date today on the same schedule, it's opening day. But of course, the big news is, according to Obama's Travel Council, expect summer travel to be up 32% this summer, and no one will pay any attention to increased price in gal in, in price, increased price of gas by about a dollar or so. Hmm, wait a minute, is that a dollar more than it was a few months ago, or is that a dollar more than plus more. than what it is right now? Ouch. Well, for now, we're gonna bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. Obama's posters are, well, actually, they're having a fit because, is he leaning or not leaning? No, hey, okay, every left-leaning pollster in the country it shows him losing among every single group except the gays and the really left of the Democratic Party. And they said, well, you, you've mistaken these polls. You've, basically, you've done everything wrong because our internal polling shows that we're leading by at least 10% and going for a 50-state sweep. No. What happened is, is that the Obama pollsters simply couldn't get it through their heads that when it comes to things like religion, everybody lies. In those same states that he's showing are leaning for, they want gay marriage and gay rights, they voted it down. 38 to 0. They have not lost one election. And they can't, well, like they said, the New York Times, they threw a fit yesterday at the New York Times, who admit that they go to, they go to areas that favor his presidency to take their polling in. But they went to black and Latino areas and they got slaughtered. They said two out of every three black and Latino voters are probably going to sit on their hands in the next election rather than support him for the presidency. And have a nice colonoscopy. New test eliminates probing laxative. I hate to tell them this, but it doesn't work any other way, no matter what they're talking about. You have to be able to see the, 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 the GI tract. If you can't see it, you can't treat it. But this is, well, we're not going to do that anymore because it's not necessary under Obamacare. And man bitten by rattlesnake at Washington State Walmart. Here's the problem: they say that's more that's more norm than uh, than you realize in in department stores, or stores in outlying areas, because the rattlers rattlers come in through anything you think of because it's dark and it's cool, and they get into the areas underneath, and then all the noise shakes them, and they come up, and people get bit. Mm. And New York seeks to deny murderers spousal burial rights. They can't do that. that. That's the way it works, folks, because there's nothing. Uh, a church doesn't really give a rat's ass what the Democratic Party wants. I mean, well, you just because you killed somebody, there's no reason for you to be punished in the afterlife. You know, mm -hmm. uh, they want to put the Democrats want to punish. You know, uh, the people. It's, it's certain criminals. If you happen to be a minority criminal and you kill somebody. They'll probably, you know, dedicate the, the cemetery to you, but not if you're a white guy, though. Ah, uh, um, <laughs> California governor proposes billions in cuts amid budget shortfall. Well, he's not going to get the he's not going to get the budget cuts, and he's not going to get it. They said that voters are more than happy to stick it to the wealthy, but the problem is, as, as Jerry Brown so very knows well knows. The wealthy aren't making any money in California, so therefore when you increase taxes on people that aren't making as much, you don't increase the taxes whatsoever. So he's going to increase, it's just a temporary increase. There's never been a temporary increase in sales tax in any, every, any state in this nation. And guess who that temporary increase in sales tax is going to hit? Mm -hmm. It's going to hit the people 
and the people don't like being hit. They're not. They're also not going to raise taxes on themselves for schools. They're not going to raise taxes on themselves when the trick is all. Of, I heard last night, Mr. Brown. Isn't the simple solution is to stop spending money? And he said, Well, the Republicans put us in this position with their with their tax cuts. You mean Proposition 13, which your father fought against, which is basically stabilized the taxes on homes. And, and he said, what, and, the, and the fact that there's a constitutional amendment that says you have to take two-thirds of the vote, at, you know, two-thirds of the Senate and House has to approve tax hikes, and that you have to have a two-thirds majority in the, in the public to approve tax hikes. He said, those are Republican ideas who have to destroy the economy. Mm -hmm. I mean, he said, in other words, the people don't want their taxes raised, they pass legislation to make certain that people like you can't tax them. And that's a Republican anti-democracy. Yeah, well, that's, yeah. Votes are always anti-democratic because they lose. And Lichtenstein Sleeping Girl sells for a record $45 million. Oh, God, artwork is going off the scale. I mean, it's time to start putting somebody else's artwork in large size on the market because... I mean, that thing went for $195 million last week apiece. Oh, really? Well, what's happening is the wealthy in the United States are scared to death of, uh, well, let's put it this way. Yesterday <coughs> on The View, the President of the United States said, I'm going to find a hard time getting elected because of the racist bigot homophiles in this country because my name is Barack Hussein Obama. Oh, come on. You know, and, and, and I said his name. Oh. Eric Holder says a minority member cannot be a racist or a bigot. And since the United States government officially lists me as an American Indian, I can basically be a horse's ass. Mm. And Paul wins majority of delegates from Maine GOP. Oh yeah, he basically took the, he took the last of his thing and then dropped out of the race because he's got enough delegates to go to cause a, uh, the havoc now at the, at the convention when it comes up. And Rupert Murdoch spoofed on SNL by Fred Armisen. Yeah, he's got, um, I mean, the, uh, I, I love it. The, 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 this was, a, the people over there, this was a wrong head and move. They don't know what they're talking about. Well, um, they got caught. You lie. When you lie to people, that's gently, okay, uh, what was it? I heard that it is never, it's virtually never the crime that finishes you off. It's the cover up of what you did. Ah. Generally, you can get, most criminals can get off on the crime. I was watching a movie last night I was in with Barbara Stanwyck. She, basically, they couldn't prove that she did the crime, but she lied about how she got the, how she had the material in her hand, and they threw her in a jail cell because of the lie, not because of the theft. And she had, she got a bigger, if she'd have pled guilty, they'd have thrown her out on the street. Instead, she got a five-year sentence. And want to quit smoking? Try acupuncture or hypnosis. I don't understand why that's news. I thought everybody... I thought knew. they already knew that. Okay, it's, it's what happens is when the news is nothing but negative for our president, which is why they don't have Rex out today because everybody knows Rex Obama. He, does, he took the president's last name because he works for the president. But it is so negative. He said they have never seen... Uh, I heard one of their pollsters last night that said he had never seen an individual self-destruct so badly as this president. He said that he, he got to believe that there was another Barack Obama in 2-8, and this is somebody that's taken his place. Mm. And Obama strategist calls conservative super PACs contract killers. Uh-huh, and that basically was a mistake because... Uh, once again, the Obama White House is walking back from what his people are saying because uh, they're all, I mean, the, the you know, uh, we reject, object to you using those term, con you're supposed to be more civil, so now you're saying that they're professional killers. Uh, no, what it is is called, if you don't, uh, this is what it's morning, uh, I said, uh, uh, was it a, a former senator, uh, one of the former senators from New York, used to be the Bradley, said, we need to, get the, need to get this problem in the House and Senate fixed. The Republicans need to come over to the side of the Democrats and we can fix the ills of this nation. Why is it there's never any coming over to the side of the Republicans? Why is it you must come to the, the side which is basically tax and spend? Republicans have faced that it, it's not going to happen. They aren't going to vote to spend any more money. That just came to an end, folks.
and pay no attention to the poster behind the curtain. Oh yeah, that's, they, they love that one because Obama basically, he basically now don't trust the pollsters because they're lying. They're in the, they're the pawns of the Republicans. They're all Democrats, folks. And Putin tells Obama he'll skip the G8 summit. Yeah, they said, uh, uh, they, they, they said that basically, Putin basically said, up yours to the President of the United States. He said it also as an indication that he thinks the President of the United States is not going to win re-election because he's avoiding him like he's got a plague now. And Nebraska set stage for hotly contested Senate race. Oh yeah, you know, you've got okay, you've got Kerry who's in his seventies running against a young, uh, young Republican uh, that basically ran against is running against the all you know the uh, the Cornhusker kickback, mm -hmm. which basically got the senator bounced from that job. And um, he, he said that, that you're not going to elect. That, that, okay, the state is really uh, basically uh, it's a it's a moderate to independent, young population, and they're not going to put some guy in my age to run the, the state, you know, for the thing for six more years, especially as a god-awful liberal Democrat in a moderate conservative state. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, that you should always take the highest price when it's offered to you because the next price is almost always going to be lower.